a two-year deal as well at the new lawn and in these uncertain times that gives you a bit of security yeah yeah i think like i say it's uh it's it's an awful time for everybody but uh, like I say, I've managed to get a two-year offer, and uh, like I say, when we spoke about it, it, it just made sense, and like I say, it was right overall for me. Yeah, Forest Green play a brand of high-tempo football. Mm -hmm. Does that suit you as a, an attacking midfielder? Yeah, yeah. Like you say, if people have seen or know me before, I'm I'm an all-that all-action midfielder as well, so it, it does it does suit me. And I've played against them, the manager's teams a few times previous, and I've always said how, how good possession they are, and like you say, high tempo, uh, in your face as well when you you haven't got the ball. And, yeah, it's, uh, it's something exciting I can't wait to be a part of. Yeah, for a man who's 26, you've got a raft of experience, various clubs, yeah. started your career at Sheffield United. Yeah, yeah, like I say, I, I was there as a, as a young lad and uh, I made an handful of appearances and then uh, I found my way uh, in non-league and then I worked really hard um, to get back into the league and like I say, I had a good couple of years with Lincoln and then obviously previously Grimsby. So like you say, yeah, it's uh, it's good, like I say, to have that experience under your belt and uh, like I say, it holds me in good stead, especially like I say, for League Two. Yeah, Forest Green fans will remember you from the games against Lincoln, which were always high intensity, intensity games. Yeah, yeah, like I say, they've had some good battles in the past and uh, I've, I was on the other side, but the most important thing now is I'm on, I'm on this side of it all now, and I, like I say, I can't wait to start. And of course, you've had experience at Wembley, and you, sco mm -hmm. you scored in the final. Yeah, yeah, like I say, that was a, a very ambitious moment when you think about it for a club like Lincoln, who would also just gone from non-league and obviously then into League Two, and then like I say, we'd, we had a good couple of years, but that's all behind me now, as good as it was, I want him to come in and achieve things here at this club. Yeah. Has this move come about recently or has it been bubbling over the last few months? Yeah, yeah, like I say, when I spoke to my agent, he mentioned there was interest as early as January um, and then, like I say, it just started to unfold, like I say, in the last few months. Then, obviously, as time got closer, uh, more details were obviously getting spoke about and the interest was getting bigger. So, like I say, it's, I've known about it and, like I say, when I knew that the club wanted me and showed interest more and again, then, like I say, it, it just felt right to, to come. The crazy world we live in at the moment has given us all time to reflect on things that we've done in the past or mm -hmm. looking ahead to the future. Unfortunately, you've got a six-game ban to yeah. start the season with Forest Green, but have you learnt from that time out? Yeah, yeah like, like I said earlier, I think everybody makes mistakes in life and, and I've learnt from that mistake. Um, what happened, obviously, in, in, in last season, it happened and uh, I held my hands up, I, I accept that and I've just got to accept the consequences and it won't happen again. But uh, like I say, I'm, uh, hopefully these games come thick and fast and I can get the games out of the way and, and get ready to be a part of an exciting project here. So this is something that's sort of added now to your maturity. I mean, we, we all do silly things in the heat of a moment, don't we? Yeah, like I say, it was an emotional game and sometimes people can let emotions get on top of you and I did that. But like I say, I've learned from it and, and uh, I've moved on from it now. I, I have to take the punishment and... Uh, like I said, I, I won't make that same mistake twice. What's your ambition here at Forest Green Rovers? When I heard about this club and I've known about it for a few years, it, it excited me in a way, like you say, it's uh, it's something different. And uh, the project that I see the manager and the club doing here, I can just see it moving forward. And like I said, I want to come here and I want to achieve things, um, whatever that may be, League Cup. And I do feel like this club can, can go them places, so I want to be part of it. Yeah, and you must be excited with a new stadium in the offing as well. Yeah, exactly. Like I say that's part of the new project. You, you look at the plans for the future, and like I say, that's, that's, that's exciting. And I'm sure not only the players and the staff, but the fans, I bet they can't wait when everything's back to normal to be a part of. And, and like I say, them little details do help you make decisions like this. And uh, obviously, it's a big commitment for me to come down from up north, but like, I'm willing to do it to be a part of. You're one of a number of new faces in the squad. You've probably taken a look at the squad. Are there any familiar names in there for you? Yeah, well, also I know a couple of lads from playing against also Forest Green. I know a couple of lads from elsewhere. Um, I've played a couple of lads at England C, and also I've played against them in the league and national league. So, yeah, it, it, it'll probably help, you know, get to know the lads a bit easier and stuff. But like I say, I just can't wait to meet them all and start training. And there are, of course, a few Northerners in the squad, so you're, you're bedding quite quickly yeah, with that. Yeah, I think maybe we could talk about a car school or whatnot, but I won't feel too out of place. But listen, it doesn't make a difference to me as long as we all gel fine and we get on work hard for each other. That's, that's part of the, the sport. Yeah. We're talking, as we talk now, we're talking from the South Stand, which is where the, the, the Forest Green diehards sing and chant mm -hmm. all the time. You're the only one in ourselves on the terrace at the moment. It's going to be like that when you start the season, unfortunately. Yeah, and like I say before, when playing here, the, this, these always stood out to make that extra noise. And uh, unfortunately, the circumstances, it's, it's going to be missed a hell of a lot. But um, only time will tell. Hopefully, like you say, we can get this, this stadium full uh, as soon as everything is safe to do so. But it will be missed. But 
the, the conditions we have to play in at the moment. Yeah. What type of player are you to the fans that wouldn't be aware of you? Describe your style of play. An all-action midfielder. I like to get about the pitch. I like to say I like to always try and chip in with as many goals as assists as I can. Uh, I like to tackle. I'm never shy of anything like that. Uh, I see myself as a leader on and off the pitch. Um, and like I say, everything, all, all action, that's where you'll see me. So uh, you won't be disappointed in that sense. Oh, good. Just one more thing to say to you. All the very best in your time at Forest Green. And we look forward to watching you play. Thank you.